ओके सो प्रोजेक्ट एलेक्सर द एंड्रॉयड थर्टीन बेस कस्टम इज ऑलरेडी आउट बट नाउ वी हैव एंड्रॉयड ट्वेल्व पॉइंट वन अपडेट इज हेयर टू विच मीन्स द लास्ट एंड्रॉयड ट्वेल्व पॉइंट वन अपडेट विच इंक्लूड सम फ्यू ऑफ द चेंजेज विच आई टॉक अबाउट इन दिस वीडियो सो स्टे ट्यून एंड मेक श्योर टू वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड I'm going to talk about some few of the things about Project Elixir latest version, which is based on Android 12. A uh, latest version, which means maybe the last version too, for based on Android 12.1, as Android 13 is already out and they will work on Android 13 with some other features and other additions. We talk about the default UI, and if you're looking at this widget, it's not by default. To be honest, I have me I have installed this thing. This is Moto widget. You can get it too very easily. I have a video available on our Hindi channel, and while making this video, it's not uploaded yet, but it will be uploaded very very soon. Let's move on to default launcher things. Things are basically same. It it includes Pixel Launcher, so no it, no changes here in this thing. Pixel Launcher is not a bad deal, but yes, let's see if we move on to the Quick Settings panel. Quick Settings panel has this kind of UI available for you. you can see this UI seems to be same with Fluid OS. You can customize this. the option is there for you you can enable this option you can disable this option it's up to you and the power menu is also from fluid os basically the same things which you have in the previous android 12.1 base builds are already present in this one too so no issues and these kind of things i thought i found some few of the minor bugs here and there but those were not i was doing some other things i was testing something and one of the major highlights about this version is this You can see this kind of music player which you have in Android 13. It's already implemented in Android 12.1. It's just working perfectly fine, and it looks quite good. Damn cool! Of course, it's not exactly like Android 13. It has this kind of progress bar, same with Android 12.1, same with Android 13. But in this Android 12.1, we don't have same UI like the background or the media player background is not like that. Maybe or maybe I have not enabled that. I'm not sure, but this is by default what you have. And yes, to be honest, it looks quite good. If you want to enable it, you can. It's just move on to the settings options here. Settings include same kind of UI as far as I know. In the previous Android 12.1 update, the UI was bit of change maybe, or it's just same like Android 13 maybe. Yes, they should implement Android 13, and they will. This might be the last update, as they said. EOL, which means end of life, the last update for Android 12.1. Welcome to Essence. This includes all those customizations for you, all those features which we have included in this version. Theming sections, status bar, quick settings, lock screen, gestures, miscellaneous, as expectedly, things are basically same. For example, if I move on to the options which we have, the customizations which we have is first of all about the themes. Themes, of course, same kind of things available which we will talk about in this one. The status bar, quick settings might have the same things for you. If I move on to the signal icon customizations, we have the options like many signal icon options available. If you're a lover of these things, if you want to customize these things, you can. Fonts also have some few of the customizations for you, so nothing to worry about in these kind of things. Fonts, there are many fonts options. If you are a lover who love to customize your device by applying some fonts, etc., you can. And this update, one more thing has been added that is called lock screen clock. You can see the lock screen clock is now customized. The Elixir clock option is there too, which you can enable on a device if you want to. And yes, it looks quite good. By the way, it's up to you. It's user's preference if you like this thing or if you don't. But yes, it just looks quite good. Other than else, you already know the features or customizations which you have here. For example, as I just mentioned at the starting of the video about quick settings customization, if you have enabled a fluid OS style, we'll also get this option quick setting tiles options. You have the option for outline, and I think so. It is available in Corvus OS also. If you have used Corvus OS. you might already know this thing but one thing which is kind of disappointed is the wetness slider they have implemented the fluid os quick setting style but they if they implement the fluid os style brightness slider that might be really good but let's see as this is the last update so i don't think so we should think about this much and 13 is already here if we move on to other options data usage call strength etc etc yes things are already present here so nothing to talk about there Other than else, you can see the quick settings, lock screen, gestures, and etc. etc. If I move on to the miscellaneous options, yes, advanced restart. We have heads up less annoying, in call vibration options, and ignore window secure flag and game space and else. These are the things which we have, and these were things which I just want to let you know about. 
If you like this video, don't forget to like and share this. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.